listen, I don't know why y'all sitting there y'all like y'all don't know how we supposed to respond to a testimony like that. I need you to do me a favor and think back over your life and imagine the Lord taking your clipboard, taking a look at your prognosis, taking a look at your vital report, and him looking at the report and saying, by my stripes. Somebody in here owes God a praise for specializing in every area that you needed him to show up in. Don't you sit there like he hasn't done anything for you. Somebody give God a praise because he specializes. If he's done it for you, you owe him a praise. If he fixed it for you, you owe him a praise. Because if it had not been for the Lord specializing, praise it, girl. Thank you for touching my body. Thank you for keeping my mind. Thank you for showing up in my situation. You get better to me than I've been to myself. I owe you a prayer. Do me a favor. Tap three people and tell them I owe him a praise. I owe him a praise. I owe him a praise. people in the room that knew how to respond to his goodness, that knew how to respond to his faithfulness, that knew how to respond for him just being God. said he's still a miracle worker and I look around this room and see all these miracles he's yeah, performed yeah, yeah. we ought to take a minute to tell God thank you Amen. Yes, sir.
God, we give you glory. We give you praise. You're worthy of all honor. Be the glory. If you won't mind, I want to take a moment. I don't want anybody to miss this opportunity. You might not have a dance. You might not even have a shout. Maybe this moment is so overwhelming, you don't even have words to express how thankful you are. So why don't we all, if you can, if you know that he's worthy, just take a minute and slip your hands up and just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You don't have to be loud about it. You don't have to be boisterous about it. But if you know he's been good to you, just slip your hands up to the Lord and say, God, I thank you. Sometimes you don't know what to say. You don't even know how to say it. But you can't just say thank you. Come on, somebody. If you know he's been good to you, he's been better to you than doctors have been. He's been better to you than your family has been. If he's been better to you than your friends have been, you can take a minute and outstretch your arms towards heaven and acknowledgement that I would not be here if it had not been for you. I would not have what I have if it had not been for you. I wouldn't have life if it had not been for you. Come on, stretch those hands towards heaven and just tell him thank you. This is what you call worship. This is what you call adoring him. This is what you call giving him honor and glory. Now let's take a moment of unselfishness and let's just give God a praise for what he's done for your neighbor. I might not know what you've been going through, but somebody knows. Just do me a favor, thank God for blessing your neighbor, your brother and your sister. There's some things that we may never know, but the fact that they're here today is a testament to how good God is. We give him honor, we give him praise. He's certainly worthy of every opportunity of a thank you. Somebody talk back to me. Has God been good to you? Hallelujah. Whoa. Better than good. Yes, he has. Come on, don't talk back because I asked you to. Talk back if you know God's really been good to you. Do me a favor, just wave your hands if you know he's answered your prayers. He's been answering your prayer. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to ask you to do something, and it's going to take some faith. It's going to take some faith. Because faith is the evidence, is the faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We're hoping for it. We're waiting on it. But can you do me a favor? We've given God praise. We've shouted. We've prayed. We've worshiped. But I want to blow the roof off this sanctuary for a moment. If you can give the highest praise... If you believe that your best days are yet in front of you. Somebody didn't hear me. I, you might have had some good days. But if you by faith can receive that your best days are ahead of you, somebody give God the greatest and highest praise. All it takes is a little bit of faith. No, no, I want you to bless him according to your faith. Bless him according to the blessing that you see coming. Some of y'all don't want much. 
But if you're like me, I need God to do some things for me. Is that all you want? Is that all you see? Come on, somebody give God a praise and bless him according to the blessing that you see that's on the way. This, this, this may not be for everybody because it depends on your faith. This may not be for everybody. But according to your faith, I need you to hear what God just said. He said, it's already done. He said, it's already done. I've already put it in motion. So you got to understand, you got to understand that when you ask God to do something for you, he cannot go outside of the expectation he's already set. Here it is. If you're looking for a harvest, you have to learn to praise God for the seed. Some of y'all missed that. He said it's already done. I've already set it in motion, which means whatever you have on the altar, whatever you're petitioning him for, he said, watch this. This is all the sermon you're going to get. I've already put it in the ground. I need somebody to catch that. Don't expect the harvest. Expect the seed, watch this, to germinate and break ground. God said, I put it in the ground. I put it in the ground. And what I need you to do, what I need you to do, I need you to build your faith. I need you to build your faith. How do you build your faith? By getting in his word. When you add to what he's already deposited, then your faith will grow. Watch this. As your faith grows, I wish I had some, some people in here that sees what God is saying. He said, as you trust me, as you trust me, that seed will begin to germinate. Watch this. It will begin to reach out for more resources to enable what you're looking for to break through the soil. Here it is. Here it is. Don't get discouraged if you don't see the breakthrough. Because it hasn't broken the surface doesn't mean it's not there. And some of you, God's been trying to get you to grow your faith, but you got discouraged because you haven't seen anything break through the ground yet. God told me to tell you that your season of breakthrough is preparing your season for harvest. But this is what he's had to do. This is what he's had to do. He's had to prepare the soil. He's had to prepare the soil. Because why would I give you the harvest if you're not prepared to gather it? And you do know the best resource for a seed to grow in. See, I want that pretty soil that you put in pots. Y'all want the pretty stuff you can pick up from loaves. Sometimes God has to take the dirtiest parts of your life. Y'all gonna make me say it. 
He will place you in manure situations to get to you what you need because it will separate those things that can choke the seed out so that the seed can break through. Pat Brown, your healing's been planted. Your healing is already working. We may not see it yet, but know that it's here. Do me a favor, I feel God in here. Do me a favor, I only need believers. If you can't believe with me, I need you to stay in your seat. I need every believer just to point your hands this way. come down and lay hands on you. I was getting ready to come down and lay hands on you. I went for the oil so I could lay hands on you. And the Lord told me you need to participate in your healing. I need you to hear what the Lord is saying to you. Pick up your bed and walk. Y'all take y'all's hands off of her. Pick up your mat and walk. 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 Y'all don't see what God's doing? It's by her faith that she's receiving her miracle. It's, by, it's according to your faith. Lady Tammy, can you come here for a minute? Lady Tammy, can you come here for a minute? Mother Lewis, can you come here for a minute? I need you to stand behind her deep. Because I believe God, I believe God right now in this moment is about to regulate everything. I need some people praying in the pews. God, in the name of Jesus, we believe by faith that her healing is already taking place. So we come today, God, not asking you, but we're coming believing you. And we're asking God that you give to us the miracle that you've already spoken. God, we pray even now that her, her breathing will regulate. Her lungs will clear up. Her legs will line up with your word. Her feet will go back to its normal size. No more swelling. No more late nights. No more pain. God, we say thank you. God, we say thank you. God, we say thank you. You're a miracle worker. You are a healer. By your stripes, we already healed. in this room.
If there's anybody in this room that has an infirmity in your body, get down here to this altar. If there's anybody in this room that has an infirmity in your body, you haven't, you may not have even told anybody. You haven't even gone to the doctor's office. I need you to make your way to this altar. Hmm. If you have an infirmity in your body, get down here to this altar. Lord, that cough's got to go. That cough's got to go. God just said to me, there's somebody still sitting in the pew. There's somebody still in the pew that hasn't moved. Don't look at me. I need you to activate your faith. Don't look at me. I need you to activate your faith and come this way. A few Sundays ago, he, he talked to us and reminded us of the woman with the issue of blood. It was her faith to move and to reach out and touch Jesus for herself. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. Hear me, if you're at this altar, I need you to hear me. I don't want you to be misled. The Bible speaks about bringing the sick to the elders and the elders laying on hands and the sick shall recover. But I need you to understand the Bible also tells us that this woman reached out and touched Jesus. So I don't want you to get caught up on me touching you as the man of God. But I need you to touch Jesus for yourself to get what you need. There are Miracles, signs, and wonders right here at this altar. And today, God wants you to grab it. He wants you to take it for yourself. Some of you have been praying for others, but God says, I'm here for you today. The Holy Spirit has not instructed me to come down and lay hands on you. But he wants you to reach out and grab him. Jesus said, who touched me? Virtue has left out of me. Who touched me? My question to you at the altar is, which one of you are going to touch him today? Which one of you are going to touch him right now? Right now, I need you to reach out and grab him. Touch him. Get your healing. That's it, that's it. Come on, go after it. Go after him. By faith, you are healed. By faith, by faith, the pain will subside and subdue and be gone. By faith, your headaches are going away. By faith, your blood pressure is coming down. By faith, your back is being straightened out. Your back is relieved of the pain. Somebody reach out and grab it. Don't look at me, look to him. 
Don't have faith in me, have faith in him. There's some drops. Now. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Can we bombard heaven? I need somebody praying in the pews for the people at the pulpit. Even me. to your seat. I'm preparing to release you to walk in your healing. But I need you to speak it and declare it out of your own mouth. Before you turn to go back to your seat, hug somebody and tell them I'm healed in Jesus' name. 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 Jesus name. Come on, open up your mouth and declare it. I'm healed in Jesus' name. you to give God a praise in one moment so we can seal so we can seal what God just did because the enemy's not happen, happy not at all. Not at all. he is already working trying to get in somebody's mind yeah. he's, he's trying to he's trying to infiltrate somebody's mental capacity to tell you that this is a farce which means this is not true. This is a made up excitement of a move that has no truth or bearing in it, but the devil is a lie. Yes, As you're going back to your seat, the Lord took me to Matthew 9. You don't have to go. It is the story when Jesus heals the blind and the mute. The Bible says he went out and they called, have mercy on me. When he went indoors, the blind men came to him and Jesus asked, do you believe that I'm able to do this? The blind man said, yes, Lord. Then the Bible says Jesus touched their eyes. And here it is. This is what I want you to jot down and keep with you throughout the week. Jesus said, according 
to your faith. Let it be done to you. Here it is. Do you believe I've done what we just declared? Yes. 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 Somebody missed it. Do you believe yes. that I'm able to do this for you? Yes. Just. Well, here's his reply. According to your faith, hey. let it be done to you. Now let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. He told us yes. it's already done. Some of y'all might be tired, but can God, somebody give God a heat? Done it again, praise. Somebody just throw your head back and shout, he did it again. to this altar and you receive that word do me a favor just start walking in your healing just start walking in your healing let the devil know I believe I believe I believe I believe, I believe. I dare you to dance for it. something in here can I get can I get two or three praisers to join me at this altar and thank God for what he just did for your neighbor
some of y'all saying he's going to take on it. The last time I read it, it said, make a joyful noise <laughs> unto the Lord. Yeah. The Bible says, hey. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Judge, no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Find three people and tell them God's got me covered. God's got me covered. Take a seat. Y'all uh, sit down. Hallelujah. The Lord's done all he's gonna do. Y'all take, y'all sit down. Y'all still standing. Sit down. We gotta get out of here. Sit down. Y'all so disobedient. Your neighbor is standing up, grab them by the arm and pull them down. Do me a favor, look back at that neighbor and tell him don't try to pull me down. You don't know what he pulled me out of. Don't try to make me sit down. He brought me up and out of the fiery clay. He set my feet on a rock to stay. He brought me through the rain. He brought me through the storm. Somebody shout, I made it. I made it! I made it! says the same next week. Maybe I'll get to preach our message that was intended for today, I thought. But can I give you at least a scripture text so you can be prepared next week? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I ain't lying. That was the text for today. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man 
their trust in him. He said, I'm going to bless you if you trust me. Next week, we'll see if the Lord will let us preach that message. Sometimes you don't know what to do when he shows up. Y'all done cried y'all's eyelashes off. Mascara's messed up. Wigs almost fell off. I say all to say that God is just that good.